Today, I want to give you the main thing on how to show people about your best side. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to each and every one of you. It's a pleasure to have you here, eager to explore the landscapes of possibility that stretch out before us. Today, we dive into a concept that's as simple as it is powerful, the belief that you can act as if you cannot lose. Imagine for a moment the liberating feeling that comes with such confidence, the assurance that no matter the obstacles, victory is within your grasp. This isn't just about unfounded optimism. It's about cultivating a mindset that transforms challenges into stepping stones toward your success. Let me share with you a story that perfectly encapsulates this attitude. It's about a young entrepreneur I once knew, someone who started with nothing but a clear vision and a relentless belief in his ability to make it a reality. Despite numerous setbacks, he never once doubted his eventual success. To him, failure was merely feedback, a temporary detour on his path to achievement. His conviction that he simply could not lose. And guess what? He didn't. His businesses flourished not because he never faced difficulties, but because he faced them with an indomitable spirit that turned potential defeats into victories. Now you might wonder, is this attitude something I can learn? Can I truly adopt this mindset? The answer is a resounding yes. This isn't a trait reserved for the lucky few born with an inherent knack for unwavering positivity. It's a perspective, a way of engaging with the world that we can all cultivate. As we venture further into our discussion, remember this, your circumstances, no matter how daunting, do not define your potential for success. What matters is how you respond to them. It's about making a conscious decision to see beyond the immediate hurdles and keeping your eyes fixed on the prize. So think about the challenges you're facing right now. Have you allowed them to shape your expectations of what's possible? Or are you ready to embrace the belief that you can act as if you cannot lose? Today I'll share with you strategies and insights that can help shift your mindset. Together we'll explore how to cultivate unshakable confidence, persist through setbacks, and take strategic action towards your goals. This journey, we're about to embark on, yes, a journey in every sense, but the physical is about unlocking the best version of yourself. It's about learning to act from a place of power and possibility, no matter the odds. Learn how to stand tall in the face of adversity, how to forge ahead with confidence and conviction, and most importantly, how to act as if we simply cannot lose. Because my friends, when you embrace this mindset, you open doors to a life of limitless potential. At the heart of every action you take, every decision you make, lies a belief. These beliefs, my friends, are the architects of your reality. They're the unseen forces that shape your thoughts, guide your actions, and ultimately dictate your outcomes. So let's ponder for a moment. What are the beliefs holding the reins of your life? Are they leading you toward the success you yearn for or away from? Consider this. How many times have you been halted in your tracks by the thought, I can't do this. Now think about what might have been possible if instead you believed, I can't lose. It's, it's a subtle shift in perspective, yet its impact can be monumental. Our beliefs about success and failure are often ingrained early on, yet they're not set in stone. They can be reshaped, remolded, and redirected to serve us better. Let me share an example that illustrates this power of belief. There was a student doubted by many who was told he lacked what it took to succeed in academia. He had every reason to accept this limiting belief, but he chose a different path. He decided to believe in his potential, to act as if failure was not an option. With each challenge, he told himself, I am capable, I can learn, I cannot lose. This belief didn't just change his attitude, it transformed his reality. From struggling student to top of class, his journey was a testament to the transformative power of belief. So how do we begin reshaping our limiting beliefs into empowering ones? It starts with awareness. Recognize the beliefs that are holding you back. Ask yourself, is this belief serving my pursuit of success or is it hindering it? Identifying these beliefs is the first step towards dismantling them. The next step is challenging them. Question their validity. Is there evidence to support them? or have they been constructed by past experiences and fears? More often than not, you'll find these limiting beliefs are not reflections of reality, but perceptions molded by past disappointments. Route to the most crucial part. Replacing these old beliefs with new, empowering ones. This isn't about mere positive thinking. It's about 
establishing a new narrative for your life. If you believe that you're not a natural leader, start telling yourself, I am developing my leadership skills every day. If fear of failure has been your shadow, begin to see every setback as a stepping stone to success. Here's a practical example to put this into action. Imagine you're preparing for a presentation and the thought crosses your mind, I'm terrible at public speaking. Counter that immediately with, I am improving my public speaking skills with every opportunity I get. I cannot lose. I only learn and get better. With practice, these new beliefs will become your automatic thoughts driving your actions toward success. Confidence is not just a companion. It is our beacon. Imagine setting sail without a compass. That's what pursuing goals without confidence feels like. It's the bedrock upon which we build our dreams, confront our challenges, and most importantly, it's what allows us to act as if we cannot lose. So let's talk about how we can cultivate this unshakable confidence. Uh, treasure within each of us, often buried under layers of doubt and fear. Firstly, consider the power of positive self-talk. Our inner dialogue has a profound impact on our self-esteem. How often do you find yourself caught in a whirlwind of negative thoughts? Each I can't and I'm not good enough is a brick in the wall that stands between you and your aspirations. It's time to dismantle this wall brick by brick by transforming our inner dialogue. Start each day by affirming your worth, your capabilities, and your potential. I am capable. I am worthy of success. I am resilient. These aren't just words. They're the seeds from which confidence grows. Visualization is another powerful tool in our arsenal. It involves painting a vivid mental image of achieving your goals, experiencing the success, the joy, and the satisfaction that comes with it. This practice isn't about daydreaming, but about creating a mental rehearsal for success. When you visualize overcoming obstacles and achieving your goals, you're not just imagining it, you're preparing your mind and body for the reality of it. Now, let's not overlook the significance of celebrating small wins. Confidence builds momentum from progress, no matter how slight. Each small victory is a step forward, reinforcing your belief in your ability to succeed. Set short-term, achievable goals alongside your long-term aspirations. Each time you tick one off your list, you're not just uh, achieving a task, you're nurturing your confidence. But what about the fears and doubts that inevitably arise? They're part of the human experience, reminders of our vulnerabilities. The key is not to silence these fears, but to confront them with compassion and understanding. Ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen? More often than not, you'll find that the fear of failure is more daunting than failure itself. Embrace your fears as opportunities for growth, as signposts guiding you towards areas that need your attention and courage. Confidence and the ability to act without fear of losing are two sides of the same coin. When you cultivate confidence, you're not just learning to believe in your abilities. You're learning to navigate life's challenges with a mindset geared towards victory. This doesn't mean you won't face setbacks. It means you'll face them with a resilience that comes from knowing you can overcome them. It's about standing in the face of adversity and saying, I am equipped, I am prepared, and I cannot lose. As we wrap up this segment, remember that confidence is a plant that needs constant nurturing. It grows through positive self-talk, visualization, celebrating small wins, and embracing our fears as opportunities. This unshakable confidence is your ally, enabling you to act without fear of losing, to pursue your goals with vigor, and to face challenges with a spirit that says, I cannot lose. Let's carry this confidence with us, not just as a shield against the uncertainties of life, but as a light guiding us towards our, our ultimate victory. Persistence and resilience are the twin engines, propelling us forward, guiding us through storms to reach the sunlit peaks of our aspirations. Imagine individuals who, uh, against the odds, carve paths of achievement through sheer will and determination. These are the unsung heroes, the quiet warriors who understood that every setback, every failure, was but a step closer to their dreams. Consider the story of a young inventor who, after countless failed experiments, finally achieved a breakthrough that changed the world. It wasn't genius that defined his journey, but the refusal to give up, the resilience to face one disappointment after another without losing heart. This is the essence of failing forward. The understanding that setbacks are not roadblocks, but essential parts of the journey to success. Every failure is a lesson, an opportunity to grow and come back stronger. 
So how do we cultivate this indomitable spirit of persistence and resilience? It begins with embracing challenges instead of shying away from difficulties. View them as opportunities to strengthen your resolve and sharpen your skills. Challenges are the universe's way of testing our commitment to our goals. And by facing them head on, we prove our worthiness of the success that awaits. Maintaining a growth mindset is crucial. This means believing in the ability to develop and improve through effort and experience. When you encounter failure, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Instead of being a verdict on your capabilities, let each setback be a stepping stone to greater knowledge and skill. Staying committed to your goals. Even in the face of adversity is another key element. Visualize your success. Remind yourself why you started and keep that vision in the forefront of your mind. Let it be the fuel that powers your persistence, the light that guides you through the darkest moments. Now let's connect these dots back to our theme. Acting as if you cannot lose, it's easy to feel invincible when things are going smoothly, but the true test comes when we're knocked down. The ability to rise, to dust ourselves off and move forward with even more determination, that's where the magic happens. Persistence and resilience don't just enable us to withstand the trials along the way. They transform us into individuals who can face any challenge with the unwavering belief that defeat is simply not an option. Remember this, the road to success is full of obstacles, but it's our response to those challenges that defines our journey. By adopting a mindset of resilience and resilience, learning from our failures and staying true to our course, we arm ourselves with the tools to act as if we cannot lose. Because in the end, it's not about avoiding failure. It's about building the strength to overcome it over and over again and make it the foundation upon which we build our greatest achievements. In our exploration of how to act as if you cannot lose, we've journeyed through the realms of belief, confidence, persistence, and resilience. Now we stand at the precipice of action, not just any action, but strategic purposeful action that propels us toward our goals with precision and intent. Imagine setting sail without a compass or a map. How would you find your destination? The truth is, achieving our goals requires more than just hard work. It demands a plan that's as clear and as navigable as the stars that guided ancient sailors through uncharted water. It's about setting clear, measurable objectives that serve as milestones on our path to success. Creating a plan begins with envisioning your ultimate success. What does it look like, feel like? Once you have this vision, break it down into achievable objectives. These aren't just any goals, but SMART goals, me specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. This approach transforms the abstract into the tangible, giving you a roadmap that directs each step you take. However, life, as you know, is anything but predictable. This is where the balance between planning and flexibility becomes vital. While your goals provide direction, staying rigidly fixed to a predetermined path can lead to missed opportunities and unnecessary obstacles. It's essential then to cultivate the ability to adapt, to pivot when necessary, while keeping your eyes on the prize. This balance ensures that you are not just moving, but moving forward with purpose. Let's consider a practical example. Imagine you're aiming to enhance your professional skills. Your plan includes specific courses and certifications you intend to complete within a year. Halfway through, you discover a new technology emerging in your Flexibility means adjusting your plan to incorporate learning this new technology, thus staying relevant and moving closer to your ultimate vision of success. Now, strategic action is not a solitary venture. It's informed by the foundation we've built on belief, bolstered by confidence, and made resilient through persistence. It's about knowing where you're going and taking deliberate steps to get there but it's also about believing in your ability to navigate the journey no matter what comes your way. Acting as if you cannot lose isn't about disregarding the possibility of setbacks. It's about moving forward with the conviction that whatever challenges you face, you have the strategy, the flexibility, and the resilience to overcome them. It's about aligning your actions so closely with your goals that success becomes not just a possibility, but an inevitability underpinned by a deep belief in yourself, confidence in your abilities, and the resilience to bounce back from setbacks is the ultimate expression of acting as if you cannot lose. It's not merely a mindset, but a way of living, 
a strategy for success that turns dreams into reality. Take a moment to reflect on the journey we've embarked upon. We've explored the profound impact of belief, the transformative power of confidence, the indomitable spirit of persistence and resilience, and the strategic precision of purposeful action. Each of these pillars stands as a testament to the truth that anyone can learn to act as if they cannot lose by adopting the right mindset and behaviors. I challenge each of you to take at least one strategy or idea we've discussed today and implement it in your life. Whether it's reshaping a limiting belief into an empowering one, practicing positive self-talk, setting smart goals, or embracing flexibility in your plans, choose one action step that resonates with you. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. To inspire you as you embark on this journey, let me share a final story. There was once a person, much like any of us here today, faced with what seemed like insurmountable challenges. Day after day, they met with failure, their dreams seeming increasingly out of reach. Yet, instead of succumbing to despair, they chose to see each failure as a lesson, each setback as a stepping stone. With each fall, they rose again, their resolve strengthened, their spirit undaunted. And in the end, they achieved their dreams, not because the path was easy, but because they refused to let the fear of losing dictate their efforts. Their story reminds us that the difference between success and failure often comes down to one simple choice. The choice to keep going, to act as if we cannot lose. So not final, failure is not fail. It is the courage to continue that counts. Let these words be a beacon for you, a reminder that the true measure of success is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to each of you for sharing this time with me. Your presence, your attention, and your willingness to grow and learn inspire me. I believe in you and your ability to transform your lives by adopting the mindset and behaviors we've discussed today. Remember, within each of us lies the potential to act as if we cannot lose. It's not just about the victories we achieve, but about the person we become in the process. So go forth with confidence, armed with the knowledge that you have everything you need to succeed. Embrace each day as an opportunity to move closer to your dreams, to grow, to learn, and to triumph. And in those moments of doubt, remind yourself of the power that lies in acting as if you cannot lose. For in that belief lies the key to unlocking your fullest potential. Thank you once again for the privilege of your time. May the journey ahead be filled with success, learning, and endless growth. Remember, you have the power to change your life, to act as if you cannot lose, and to make your dreams a reality.